Hi, and welcome to our motorcycle helmet guide. In this chapter, we're looking at helmet materials, what they're made of, what you can expect to spend for the different materials, uh, and what you're going to get back from that as well. There's a lot of big words in this section, uh, but it's quite interesting, so we're going to dive right into it. So, for your standard motorcycle helmet, there are basically three layers. There is the shell, there is a EPS foam layer beneath it, which you can't quite see here. It's white, looks like most kind of polystyrene. And then there is a foam layer under that. That's your padding, that's what's sitting against your head. The purposes of each layer are pretty simple. The shell is designed to be hard. It is designed to spread the impact over a large area so that EPS foam can then suck up the impact. The shell is also designed to prevent any punctures, so anything that might be sharp coming at you, the shell is designed to stop it. So that's the shell. The EPS foam layer, like we mentioned, is going to absorb that impact that the shell does such a good job of dispersing for us. After that, the padding, that really just makes sure that it sits comfortably against your head. That gives you a good fit, uh, it makes sure everything's snug in all the right areas, and it feels comfortable for you. In terms of the latter two, the padding and the EPS foam, there's not much difference between basic helmets and premium helmets. I mean, with premium helmets, the padding might be a better material, might be softer, might be removable and machine washable. Same thing with premium helmets, you might get in the EPS layer, the expanded polystyrene foam. That might have a couple double densities in there, so it may be uh, less dense on the outside, more dense on the inside to handle different impacts differently. So that's a little bit of advancement there, but for the most part, those two layers aren't gonna vary very much. The main part that we care about is going to be the shell. That's where big variations come into play. So the first type that we're going to look at is thermoplastic. Thermoplastic is exactly what it sounds like. It's hot plastic. Um, so normally it's some kind of polycarbonate. They melt it down, inject it into a mold, cool it, and it comes out to form this hard plastic shell. We're very familiar with stuff like this. It does a good job for what it's supposed to. It is hard. It does disperse the impact very well, but it isn't as hard as it can be and it gets it done at sort of a much higher weight than you would get with some more advanced materials. So from poly, uh, polycarbonate thermoplastic lids, expect to get something that has more EPS foam beneath to meet those safety standards. So it's gonna be a little bit bigger, it's gonna be a little bit bulkier as well. Moving on, we have a fiberglass lid. Now fiberglass uh, is basically done by layering uh, levels of fiber. You inject them with a resin, you cook it to like a billion degrees, you repeat this process over and over to get a weave pattern. And you can see this really, really cool here with the icon. They have it kept it quite clear, so you can actually see the fiberglass underneath. What this process results in is something that's very, very hard, quite brittle, um, and it's something that crackles. So this is really important because when it takes an impact, it crackles all over the place, and that's really good at spreading that impact around. So as we know, that makes it easier for the EPS foam beneath to suck up that force. The problem with crackling, of course, is that these are fragile. If you drop it from even a height like this, you could run a serious risk of breaking the helmet. They are very, very safe though. These get uh, the same features, the same safety levels that you get from a polycarbonate thermoplastic lid. You get all that at a lighter weight, uh, and you even get a little bit better protection from this. So that means you're not going to have to have as much EPS foam beneath. So you're gonna end up with a little bit slimmer of a lid, something a little bit lighter as well. So that's what you get from a fiberglass lid. Moving on from here, we're just taking a half step up to something called advanced fiberglass. So advanced fiberglass, really, really similar to the last one. The only difference is that the fibers are just a little bit more advanced. So either they're pre-injected with a resin uh, or maybe they're mixed with some other material that just makes them a little bit better that achieves those exact same results at less weight. So oftentimes you'll see these are about 80% the weight of a traditional fiberglass. And again, that just saves you a little bit there. Um, so you're going to get a little bit of a lighter helmet, but the exact same safety standards that you would get from a regular fiberglass lid. Up from there, we get to the top dog. These are your carbonized lids. These are your Kevlar composite lids. These are really, really advanced. And again, it follows that same principle as fiberglass. But instead of using traditional fibers, they use Kevlar fibers and they use carbon fibers. These are really, really strong materials. They're also very expensive, but they're very strong and very light. So when they layer it up, they go through that whole fiberglass process, you end up with something that achieves great strength that's gonna take a lot of those impacts even before it gets to the EPS layer. 
So again, this lets you use much less EPS foam in the helmet to achieve the same safety standards that we had gotten previously. So from a carbonized lid or a Kevlar lid, you can expect to have a really light helmet uh, and also something that's gonna be slimmer. The main thing to note with advanced materials though is that it doesn't necessarily have anything to do with safety. A thermoplastic helmet can be just as safe as a really fancy carbonized Kevlar helmet. The difference is, is that the thermoplastic helmet has to use way more EPS foam in the second layer. So you can expect it to be heavier and you can expect it to be bulkier. Whereas the carbonized Kevlar helmet, that's gonna be slim, it's gonna be very light, it's gonna feel super comfortable on your head. When you're crashing, you may not notice much difference between the two, but when you're riding, that advanced material is gonna make a big difference for you. That's basically all there is to say on these materials. There are loads more out there with really, really complicated names. If you have any questions, our customer service team just loves to answer that kind of stuff. Be sure to check out the next parts of our guide as well if you have any more questions because we go over loads of other things about motorcycle helmets. Thank you very much for watching.